Bum, bum, ba -da -bum, ba -da. Hello there, my name's Vinny Voodoo, and in this little video we're going to be looking at the top, I think, nine frequently asked questions that have been frequently asked in a question form about the high-resolution texture packs. Now, I've answered all of these questions in my texture pack videos, but I know that they're sometimes 20 minutes long, and if you want a quick answer, this is the place to go for it, and it'll also be... Um, um, a resource that I can link to when people ask the same question again rather than me answering it cut and paste. So without further ado, why don't we go to question one? So what are these alleged texture packs? Well, in fact, they're a resource, an auxiliary set of data, in fact, imagery, uh, that you add on to Warzone to make the operators and guns look better. They have no visual impact in the actual the Dansk map, although there may be a performance impact, and we'll get to that in a later question. In November of 2020, they removed the high-resolution textures from the game to reduce the game file size. And these put it back, although I think with Texture Pack 3 and certainly Texture Pack 4, we're now adding things that weren't available in 2020. So now I think there are more improvements of the later operators and guns, such as John McClane and Rambo, that came in Season 3. So, all you do is you add them to the game, it increases the size of the game, but makes it look better. So if you're interested in downloading the texture packs, how do you get them? It's very simple. You go to Options, General, then go down to Game Installs, which is down the bottom there, and you go to Modern Warfare Texture Packs, which is a bit of a misnomer because these do now aid Cold War assets, such as the latest operators from Cold War. There are currently four of them, and they're ranging in size from 10 gig or 8 gig through to 25, making a sum total of around 52 or 53 gigabytes now. You just simply click on the texture pack you want to download, and it will set it off. At a later date, when it's finally downloaded and you rerun the game, they'll already be there. There's nothing more to do after that. Now, to uninstall them on the PS4, you click on it and it will ask you if you want to uninstall it. And it'll just simply delete it very easily. On the Xbox, it's a little more complicated because you have to go into settings. But the instructions are on screen for the Xbox. So what exactly do the texture packs do? Well, I've got several videos on how they affect your operators, and they just make them look a bit better. There's a slight blurriness with the low-resolution versions of them, and uh, that's cleaned up a little when you download it. Only you can decide if it's worth the time and hard drive space to have that slight improvement. But it also means that certain textures on certain packs will affect certain parts of certain operators. What I mean by that is if you take, for example, my Milsim here, his um, t canvas texture, say, on the straps that go onto his knee, maybe from texture pack 2, whereas the texture that's on his arm, on that Ace of Spades and is that a Rook from uh, Chess, maybe from texture pack 4. So there's no specific texture pack that you should get, and we'll cover that in a moment. In a nutshell, they make your operators and guns look nicer. Now, if you have an Xbox, there's a good chance texture pack 2 is showing as uninstalled or just blank, even though it probably said installed at some point. There was a rumor going around that Texture Pack 3 replaces 2, and you don't need to. That's not true. It is a bug, as you can clearly see on the PS4 that I have here, that all four are installed. Plus, it really wouldn't make sense that they would ask you to download Texture Pack 2 and then put in 3 only for it to remove 2, given that 2 is about 25 gig, it do and, and 3 is smaller. None of that makes sense. It was a rumor spread by someone, and people just repeated it verbatim. It's just an Xbox bug, and I do not have a fix for it at this moment in time. My only advice 
devices to just download one, three, and four for now. And as and when it gets fixed, I'll let you guys know. But until then, uh, that's exactly a problem with the Xbox and the Xbox only. And so we come to the most commonly asked question. I think one of my vids has got 85, 86,000 views now, 600 plus comments. And the biggest question that people ask is, which one should I download? Should I download just four and ignore the other three? Does four replace them and all that? I think that's part of the problem with that. That question has been caused by that bug uh, on the Xbox, as previously mentioned. The answer to this is all or none. And the reason for that is what I mentioned before. Texture Pack 1 may have a texture for this operator's hat, and Texture Pack 4 may have a texture for this operator's gloves. There is no specific set of operators and guns that are contained within specific texture packs. They all borrow from each other. So to get your operator, especially if it's a favorite of yours, to look the best it possibly can, the only thing you can do is download them all. There is no advent advantageousness to just downloading one. Ah, we get to the second most commonly asked question, and that is, will it affect my performance in-game? Unfortunately, it's not as cut as, uh, and dried as you might think. Now, Activision do not recommend this for base consoles, and I'll touch that in a bit, um, but it is a case that it's possible it will detrimentally affect your performance. It does depend on a variety of factors. Now, in my experience, it positively affects performance every time. And I'll explain why that is. Even though these only affect operators and guns, the game engine is still pulling textures off the internet. Uh, it's, it's billboards and, and so on and so forth aren't stored locally. Now, if you compound that with a texture for, from an operator on a guy you've just killed that isn't on your hard drive, you'd have to go looking for it. So say you just downloaded Texture Pack 4, and on it is a bunch of textures of people like John Rambo and John McClane. The game doesn't have to go online and thus possibly negatively affect your frame rate to get them. It can feed them through the GPU buffer straight from the hard drive. So there is a positive to the visuals in-game in having the Texture Packs, even though, as I've said, they only affect operators and guns. Now, I've had people on a PS4 Slim say it looks brilliant and it works great. I've had the same people on a base PS4 say it's horrible. And in my personal experience, it wouldn't even work on a base Xbox One. So the question as to whether it positively or negatively affects the performance is really down to the current situation you have, including the speed of your internet bandwidth and how the Activision servers were acting that day. The only thing I can recommend is, since it's so easy to install them and uninstall them, is give it a go. <laughs> So base consoles are out then. Well, as I mentioned in my previous um, point, I, I don't think that's a fair statement. I know Activision doesn't recommend it, but they do allow it. And it is interesting to note that prior to November of 2020, these high resolution textures were indeed installed on base consoles to no negative effect. So the point is, is give it a go. But it's very likely, I would say it's more than likely, let's say 51% or more likely that it will negatively affect your performance, regardless of your internet setup. On the other hand, it may positively, it's not a definitive negative, it's a possible negative, a more likely negative. If you've got a PS4 Pro or an Xbox One X or above, give it a go. Another question I get asked is, do these texture packs affect Modern Warfare, the game, and Cold War, as opposed to Warzone? And I would say Cold War has zero effect in, in installing these. In fact, I don't think Cold War accesses any assets from Modern Warfare or Warzone. So let's rule out Cold War from it, even though there are operators from Cold War in Warzone. They're facsimiles, they're recreations of the operators from Cold War Neither game is pulling assets from each other in terms of Cold War and Warzone. 
Modern Warfare is a little different um, because Warzone is pulling assets from a Modern Warfare, or at least it used to. Now it's a standalone game. It may not be, but I think that they share the texture packs. Point being is, if you download them, don't expect any difference in Cold War. Do expect an improvement in Modern Warfare, and definitely expect an improvement, subtle though it is, in Warzone. Okay, our final question is about texture streaming. And if you're unfamiliar with this option, if you have a PS4 Pro or above and you go to general game installs, but don't click on it, go up a bit more, you should have an option called details and textures. And there you have on-demand texture streaming. Now, don't confuse this with something like Google Stadia or the Game Pass streaming of a game. This isn't streaming the game, it's streaming textures to your hard drive as you traverse the dansk. Subtle things. Bricks, trees, branches, whatever it is, textures that uh, affect the visual look of the dansk, as opposed to the texture packs, which you manually download and store on your hard drive, on-demand texture streaming, buffers and then throws away. It caches wherever you are and deletes it. It, it sets aside 24 gig of space for such an event. Now, there is a daily download limit. That's only if you've got a bandwidth cap. Don't worry about that. Um, so the point is, is that I get asked with texture streaming, can I delete the texture packs? And the answer is no, because the texture packs, I mean, you, yeah, obviously you can. What I mean is not really, it's not like the on-demand texture st streaming replaces the texture packs. It doesn't do anything like that. In fact, as far as I know, on-demand texture streaming doesn't even help the operators and guns. And it's only designed for the actual look of the dance. In a nutshell, if you want the best possible looking game, especially on consoles, you need to enable on-demand texture streaming and download the high resolution texture packs. And so there we go, the top nine frequently asked questions that are even to this day coming up in my texture pack videos. Now, presumably there's gonna be a texture pack five. I don't think that will change the responses that I've made here, but if they do, I'll post a follow up to this video. To keep this video brief, I will just say, my name is Vinny Voodoo, and thanks for watching.